Before Diana even knew what was happening, she and Steve were whisked off on a ship bound for a secret destination in the wilds of Montana. As they prepared to land, Diana gasped in awe at the spectacular sight that was spread out before her eyes. The white concrete buildings of Marsden Air Force Base reflected the early morning sun, sending shafts of light back into the crisp blue sky. The walls of a newly built dam, restraining tons of water, loomed over the military installation. Only a few top officers were aware of the base's existence, and even they were unsure of what went on here. The whole thing was a mystery, and Diana was curious. As Diana and Steve got off the plane, a man in a general's uniform rushed up to greet them. Diana could see that the general was very upset. That's General Peters, Steve whispered to Diana. But I've never seen him look so disorganized before. Something big must be up, something that the general couldn't handle himself. Sure enough, as the general escorted Steve and Diana through the base, he told them of a series of disasters that had perplexed everyone. Someone's been destroying our new test planes, the general said nervously. We call them Dynasonics, and they are designed to be the fastest planes ever built. But they're being blown up before we can test them. We've tried to stop the saboteurs, but nothing seems to work. I can't trust anyone, not even the soldiers guarding the Dynasonic. I'm at the end of my rope. I need you to capture the saboteurs. I want you to personally guard the Dynasonic. You'll have men guarding the runway outside, but I don't want anyone except you two in the hangar with that plane. Late that night, Wonder Woman paid a visit to the hangar where the Dynasonic was kept. She knew Steve was supposed to be guarding the huge aircraft, but when she arrived, Steve appeared to be sleeping. Wonder Woman was worried. Steve was a top intelligence officer. He would never fall asleep while on duty. This must be the work of the saboteurs. Wonder Woman thought. But the Dynasonic is still safe and sound. Puzzled as she was, the Amazon princess did not have time to think about this strange new development. She had to make sure Steve was safe. She was so concerned that she did not notice a mysterious figure slinking out of the airplane hangar. Steve? Steve, are you all right? What happened here? With the skill of a trained nurse, Wonder Woman brought the colonel back to consciousness. Steve's eyelids began to flutter, and as he awoke, he groaned in pain. Wonder Woman was relieved that Steve was not seriously injured, despite the large bruise on the back of his head. Oh, my head hurts. Someone must have hit me, knocked me out. Oh, the Dynasonic, is it? It's still here, Steve. I must have frightened the saboteurs away when I walked in. Just then, the cool night air was pierced by a series of high-pitched screams. That noise. It sounds like someone's in trouble. You'd better investigate, Wonder Woman. I'll be able to guard the Dynasonic now. As Wonder Woman streaked out of the hangar, she noticed that the soldiers General Peters had assigned to guard the runway were nowhere to be seen. I hope Steve can watch the Dynasonic by himself, because I can't ignore the screams coming from those barracks over there, even if it means leaving the Dynasonic practically unguarded. In seconds, the Amazon princess reached the building from which the noises were coming and burst through the door. Inside, she was confronted by a shocking sight. The group of soldiers assigned to guard the runway were being held hostage by a pack of ferocious mountain lions. The savage cats clawed and growled at the helpless soldiers who could do nothing more than wave sticks and chairs at the felines and scream for help. Where's Hera? Those men are bound to get hurt. Unless I act quickly. That skylight. It's their only chance. I don't like letting these men think I'm running out of them, but I've got no choice. Without apparent reason, Wonder Woman slammed the barrack door shut, leaving the frightened men trapped inside. As she summoned her Amazon strength for a graceful leap to the roof of the building, she thought to herself, I don't understand it. Mountain lions usually run away at the very sight of humans and would never come down from the mountains to attack them. There's something wrong here. 
Once on the roof, Wonder Woman peered through the skylight. In the room below, the cats were climbing onto the table where the defenseless soldiers stood huddled in fear. There was no time to lose. In a single motion, Wonder Woman shattered the rooftop window. Standing above the panicked soldiers, Wonder Woman twirled her magic lasso through the smashed skylight in a wide loop. As if with a light of its own, the golden link lariat descended, pulling itself tight around the frightened men. Then, with a single tug, Wonder Woman pulled the entire group of men up onto the barrack roof. Thanks, Wonder Woman. One of the soldiers exclaimed, We were guarding the runway when we saw someone sneaking into this barrack. But when we got here, it was empty. We were about to return to our post when the cats greeted us at the door. This has to be the work of the saboteur. Wonder Woman replied, I'd better get back to Steve and the Dungeon. Just then, a sonic boom broke through the stillness of the night air. A soldier shouted, It's the Donna Sonic! It's been stolen! Suffering Savo! Wonder Woman exclaimed as the top secret plane flew off into the distance. Suddenly, the truth was all too obvious. The mountain lions had been a carefully planned diversion to get both her and the soldiers away from the hangar so the saboteur could once again attempt to steal the Dinosonic. Immediately, the mighty Amazon summoned her robot plane. Seconds later, she climbed onto its hanging ladder, shouting back to the safe but stranded soldiers. Sorry, fellas. You'll have to get off the roof by yourselves. I've got a plane to catch. 